boys and girls. I have just finished doing a virtual dinosaur party, so I've only just made it in time, but welcome back. I am Dino Girl, and I joined you last week for the first ever Dino Tales story. I hope you enjoyed learning and listening about Ava the Allosaurus and all the friends that she met and that tried to help her with her troublesome tooth. This week, we're going to read another dino tale about a very clumsy dinosaur called Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus and the clumsy club. I wonder who we're going to meet in this dino tale. Well, first of all, now I'm not working anymore. I need to get myself comfy, get myself a little bit cosy, get myself ready to read a story. So I'm gonna check my blankie bag and see what's inside. Oh, that's good. Oh, a lovely, soft, furry blankie. Perfect for making me feel ah, cosy and warm and ready to read a story. Oh, there's something else. Oh, <laughs> oh my once upon a time cushion. That'll be just right for putting on my lap so that you can see the story nicely. Well, off with the dino girl hat. We don't need that. And, oh, I think I'll take my hair out as well. Nice and relaxed. Lovely. Oh, I want to see if I've got a friend who wants to join me today as well. I wonder who's behind the chair. A little friend might be joining us. Come out. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, wow. Well, hello. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, that's good. Say hello to the boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this little guy is? No? Well, he's a Pachycephalosaurus, okay? He actually features in the story, but nobody sees him or mentions him. I wonder whether you can spot the Pachycephalosaurus in the pictures in this story that I'm about to read to you. Who knows? How about you come closer and let me read to you? Are you ready? Let's begin. Ankylosaurus and the Clumsy Club. Who are we going to meet in today's dino tale? First of all, Archie the Ankylosaurus. There's also going to be Stu the Styracosaurus. Olivia the Ornithomimus, and a terrible Tyrannosaurus Rex. <sighs> wow, looks exciting. But where do you come in, Patrick, my little Pachycephalosaurus? Let's see if the boys and girls spot you. Okay. Once upon a time, there was an Ankylosaurus called Archie. Archie was a tough-looking dinosaur, but he was also ever so shy and ever so clumsy. Archie had a huge club at the end of his tail. It seemed to do the exact opposite of what he wanted it to do. When Archie walked 
his club swiped from side to side. He often destroyed things just by wandering past them. So Archie spent a lot of time saying sorry to other dinosaurs. Whoosh! Sorry. His club was always getting him into trouble. What's your club? grumbled an old Edmontonia. I don't know why you've got one if you can't control it. Archie's best friend was a styracosaurus called Stu. But even with Stu about, Archie was still left out of games. Stu, come and play hide and seek, shouted an ornithomimus called Olivia one afternoon. He can't play, though, added Olivia, pointing to Archie. He'll knock half the forest down before we've had time to hide. It made Archie feel sad, but he told Stu to go and play anyway. Archie stood and watched as all the other dinosaurs ran off to hide. Can I at least help you find them? Archie asked Olivia as he lumbered up to her. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, coming! She shouted. Oh, I suppose so, she replied. Just try to be quiet. But suddenly, Archie spotted a dinosaur who wasn't part of the game. Olivia, he shouted. Shh, she replied crossly. He Rex, hissed Archie. T Rex, shrieked Oliver as she overtook Archie and sped toward a nearby cave. Archie could see the other dinosaurs already hiding in the cave. Stu was waiting for him. But was Archie going to get there in time? Suddenly, there was a thundering roar and the ground began to shake. Archie wondered what he'd hit with his club this time. But when he looked behind him, the sky was filling with smoke. As the volcano shot fiery balls of lava into the air, Archie still hadn't reached the cave. Everyone else ducked inside just as a rumbling rockfall filled the cave entrance. Archie huddled close to the cave. As the eruption finished, he started pushing at the rocks. Oh, I can't shift any of them, he grunted. Try harder, shouted Stu from inside the cave. We can only move the little ones in here. Olivia squeezed her head into the small gap Stu was making. Use your club, Archie, suggested Oliver. I'll hurt someone, said Archie. I'll always break something with it. Hurry, Archie, shouted Olivia. T-Rex is back! Just give your tail a swish and try, please, called Stu. So Archie started to spin. Archie's club slammed into the fallen rocks. Small trees and boulders were caught up in his whirling and T-Rex was knocked out cold. As Archie slowed to a stop, he saw the rocks around the cave had shifted. Well done, Archie! Well done, Archie! Archie, well done! 
shouted the dinosaurs from inside the cave. Thanks, Archie, whispered each dinosaur as they tiptoed over T-Rex to leave the cave. <clears throat> you took on a T-Rex with your tail, whispered a small Edmontonia. Amazing! Archie suddenly felt very proud of his club. Archie was soon part of everyone's games and found he was especially good at rock ball. <laughs> Archie's club is awesome, laughed Olivia. The end. Well now, boys and girls, how about it being time to tail it again? Let's have another look at the pictures and a chat about the dinosaurs. So here we have Archie. Can you remember what dinosaur he is? That's right, boys and girls, an Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus were armour-plated dinosaurs and covered in very tough armour plating all the way over their body. Some even had armour plating that ran over their eyes and their head. So if they shut their eyes, no dinosaur could bite through. Now, did any of you spot Patrick the Pachycephalosaurus in this picture. He's not mentioned in the titles. There he is. Look. Patrick, did you see? Lift your head, have a look. Can you see? Yeah. I don't know why they didn't mention you, but there we go. And Edmontonia, the old Edmontonia, you can see similarities. You think they look a bit similar? That's because they're both part of the Ankylosauride family. And here's Stu, a Styracosaurus. And as you can see, they had between four and six horns on their neck frill. They also used to have a horn on each cheek as well. And a big nose horn that would grow sometimes to 60 centimetres. That's probably a little bit wider than this book. 60 centimetre long horn on his nose. Wonder what he used it for. And here they're all playing hide and seek. We've got... Poor old Archie, not playing. We've got Olivia, the Ornithomimus. Stu the Styracosaurus, the old Edmontonia, and our friend Patrick, the Pachycephalosaurus. And I think this guy here is possibly meant to be another one of the feathered dinosaurs. Could be another Ornithomimus. Can you spot T-Rex in this photo, in this picture? Where is he coming from? Oh, there he is. T-Rex with his little two-toed arms, but fierce, fierce mouth. And they're all running as fast as they can to get into the cave. Maybe the ornithomimus, which actually means bird mimic, was trying to fly at this point to reach the cave. And then the volcano. 
there were lots of volcanoes erupting at around about this time in history, which is around the end of the Cretaceous period. So this is shortly before the dinosaurs died out and there were indeed quite a few volcanoes before that happened. And Archie doesn't make it into the cave. Maybe that's because he was too big to fit in the hole. He was actually around six to eight metres, but a very heavy, heavyweight dinosaur, around five to eight tonnes. And his name, Ankylosaurus magniventris, actually means fused lizard, obviously in response of his tail club. And then the second part of his name is Great Belly. <laughs> He's a fused lizard with a great belly. And that's what his name actually means. But that fused tail club certainly came in handy. And what did it do when Archie started to spin his tail? What happened? That's right. All the rocks got bashed out of the way and he took out a T-Rex. Wow. How about that for a useful tail club? And then he liked his tail a bit more and all his friends realised that they could just find different games so they could all join in. Much more fun together, boys and girls, isn't it? Well, I really enjoyed that dino tale. I hope you did too, boys and girls. I'll see you again next week. <laughs>